Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our budget and kindred series, this time looking at elves with the scry synergy. So these are, yeah, very useful ones. Scry is pretty good. Making sure you get the card that you need when you need it is kind of how you win games. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll, it'll do. Mm. What about elves? I've gone over this many, many times, but yeah, main color green. Again, they are great for mana drugs, for buffs, for all kinds of things. Probably one of the most flexible creature types. They're one of the originals. I think that's why they're so flexible, because they've been in so many sets. This is the eighth video in the Elf series. Uh, this is on Elves that have Scry Synergy, as I said. This is especially focusing on the Lord of the Rings set. Um, in the Lord of the Rings set, they, they had a whole bunch of Elves with all kinds of Scry and Scry interactions. And that was like their, I think it was their Simic ability. It seems like they're all Simic anyway. So blue-green Simic, yeah. And what do I mean by budget? I mean one dollar or less according to PCG player. Not a sponsor. No, they are not. Mm. We're also now on Facebook. So if you could subscribe, that would be great. If you could hit like, yay. And uh, yeah. If you have any kind of like feedback or anything, that would be great. I'd love to hear it. Um, suggestions or feedback or whatever. Um, yeah, check us out on Facebook on MTG Nerd in Korea. Number five, Galadriel of Lothorian. <clears throat> oh great, I'm losing my voice. So one Simic, again, green, blue. So this is the first of the Lord of the Rings cards. We've got more coming, believe me. So whenever the ring tempts you, if you choose a creature other than Galadriel of Lothorian as your ring bearer, scry three. Scry three. Choosing a ring bearer is already pretty good. It's actually a very handy mechanic, and it's also something you don't have to focus on to get some value out of. So it's nice to like kind of sprinkle into a deck, I think. Oh, I didn't go say over her basic stuff. Um say over go over her basic stuff um yeah she's a 3-3 with like nothing really else going on but she doesn't really need it either here's the big one right so scry 3 is a nice thing to have access to it's not a hard thing to take advantage of but also whenever you scry you may put the top card uh, uh sorry you may reveal the top card of your library if it is a land card or sorry, if a land card is revealed this way, put it onto the battlefield tapped. Oh, so this is ramping land. Also, it does not say basic land, right? What's always important is to think, what does it not say? It doesn't say basic. Any land that you can get on top of your deck with scry, you can put straight into the battlefield tapped. Uh, a lot of, you know, your like, uh, maybe dual color lands or tri color lands, they're gonna come in tapped anyway, so it's kind of just the same. Oh boy, especially as an added bonus to scry, because when you scry, you can make sure that land is on top too. So yeah, you're gonna scry, make sure there's a land on top, throw it straight into the battlefield. Holy ramp city. Anyway, 22 cents only. Uh, I gotta, I've gotta use that soon. Number four. Rumor Gatherer, the one white white. This one I've covered a few times. Um, this is a 2-1, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. So it, oh, this is actually something I read wrong before. Um, Tim from MTG, uh, <clears throat> sorry, EDH on a budget. I keep always calling it my channel name. His channel is EDH on a budget, minus MTG Nerd in Korea. Not the same, anyway. He pointed out that, yeah, the scry happens every time, except the second time when you draw a card. Yeah, the second creature comes in, you draw a card instead of scrying, and then every creature after that, you just keep scrying. So you can get so much scry. It is crazy. This doesn't care if it's a token creature or a non-token creature or whatever. Just every creature that comes in, you're just going to keep scry, scry, scry. Uh, cool. That's a lot of making sure you got what you need 34 cents only as well
Number three. Yana, red tooth region. So two and uh, Selesnia, so green white for a four four. Yeah, so okay. Pay two and tap. Okay, so she's all about enchantments. Okay, so if you've got like a scry enchantment deck kind of thing. This is amazing. Actually, any enchantment deck, she's amazing in. She's going to give you Scry for that enchantment deck. Um, especially, she gives you Scry 2. That's a very good amount of Scry, right? Even if the top two of your cards are not cards you need, probably the next one hopefully is, or you're uh, maybe building your deck wrong. I think Scry 2 is... Scry 1 is a little shaky. Scry 2 is like... If you can do that once a turn, you should be set up every turn. Anyway, yeah. So, pay two, tapper. Choose target enchantment you control that doesn't have the same name as another permanent control. Again, in Commander Singleton, so nothing will. Create a token copy of it, except it isn't legendary. So you can even copy legendary enchantments. That it's gonna, she's going to automatically make a copy that isn't legendary, so you don't have to worry about legendary rule. If the token is an aura, untap her, then scry two. So you can do this twice per turn. If the first one you uh, target is an aura, you're going to scry two and untap her, and then you can make a copy of another enchantment. Especially so with something like Ghost Prison or something. Um, where, or the pillow fort effects, they stack. A lot of enchantments are going to stack. If you have two copies of them, it's going to like give you double the benefit. Um, this gets out of hand with so many things so easily, you can really just abuse this. Anyway, 56 cents. Number two. Arwen Undomiel. I don't feel like I'm not saying it right. For Simic. Again, Lord of the Rings. Whenever you scry, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. It doesn't care how much you scry, just that you scry, and then you put a plus one, plus one on any creature. For six, you can scry two. Six is expensive, but scry two is really good. Also, you're getting the added benefit of any time you scry. Not just her ability, you're going to be putting plus one, plus one counters. Simic loves some plus one, plus one counters, so that's really good. Ten cents? Okay, here we go, number one. Elrond, Master of Healing, so her dad. Arwen's dad now. Uh, two, Simic, green, blue. Whenever you scribe, put a plus one, plus one on each of to X target creatures where X is the number of cards you looked at. So you can only put one plus one, plus one per creature, but it's the number of creatures that you scribe. So if you scry three, three creatures get plus one, plus one counters. Especially with pl Proliferate, Getting that first counter down is all that really matters, and then you just take it from there with proliferate. You just keep making more and more and more. This is crazy. So whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you draw a card. This is so much better than like something like Ward or something like that. People do not want to give their opponents card draw. That's like number one. I would rather pay two mana than uh, give someone a card draw any day. Um, it's, yeah, it's just, it's so, so good. Um, and when people don't want to target your stuff, they're going to target other people's stuff. That's the real good thing about that. Like card draw is great. Getting your opponents to attack other opponents that's the real money there. Anyway, 21 cents. A list. Okay, Galadriel of Lothorian is 22 cents. Rumor Gatherer is 34 cents. And that Red Tooth Region is 56 cents. Arwen Undomiel is 10 cents. And Elrond, Master of Healing, is only 21 cents. All right, take it easy.